there folks Ashley double a farms it's been a while it's been several weeks since I did a video other than my devotional video so it is Friday October the 4th so in October now September flew by absolutely flew by before you know it it's gonna be Christmas for us there so already looking forward to it myself so looking forward to some cooler weather we've had a little bit we ain't had a whole lot here in south carolina and of course we uh still praying for the hurricane victims uh, a lot of folks got hit in south carolina here in the western part of the state and then a lot of people in the western part of north carolina and eastern tennessee and those areas florida uh are praying for y'all because that's a big tragedy tragedy it really is it's, it's sad to see that destruction there um, in those areas uh, but anyway uh, thought i'd bring y'all along here today we'll hook up the vermeer m6050 we'll hook it up to the kubota here in a second i plan to do some hay cutting uh me and my last fella cutting tomorrow my big field my 14 acre field i'm gonna cut it tomorrow and uh plan on doing that in the morning so i want to go ahead and get hooked up and get ready gotta go work a football game tonight so um then do another activity got ducks unlimited banquet tomorrow gotta go set up for it so i'm gonna work the football game work my gate and then leave from there and go set up for ducks unlimited so but anyway i do want to hook this up but wanted to bring you along i uh, finally figured something out and this is i guess you could say dumbness on my part you know as men we never read the instructions on much of stuff and I, I do if if it is something i've never done before um but i took it when i got this and started hooking it up y'all know I, I shot a video and and there was uh I had a little bit of a hard time trying to get this sucker hooked up to the M7040, but I got it hooked up. All was good, went and cut. The second time, I had it right here in this same place. Didn't film it, but I hooked it up. Yeah, had a, wasn't as difficult as the time hooking it up, but still had a little bit of difficulty. Had a little bit of difficulty unhooking it. So I went back and looked at YouTube. Uh, YouTube this. Vermeer So I'm gonna go back and look at some of the the dealer videos on this and uh, What I found out was I guess again, you could say uh, dumbness stupidity on my part, but right here on The side of this mower it has a picture two pictures there uh, you got a top and a bottom one and It's two different ways of hooking this up in two different ways of having the jack. There's two different settings on this jack. Now, on the top one here, as you can see, it is using a quick hitch, a typical three-point quick hitch that a lot of people have. I have one myself that you can use to hook up stuff, make it a little easier for you to be able to hook it up, okay? And with the quick hitch, if you could see there, it shows that you are supposed to be in the top hole of the mower stand which one are we in we're in the top hole that's the top hole and here actually is the other hole now if we look at the bottom picture here we see that this is the quick hitch that we have that we're using the quick hitch that comes on the mower the two point portion and it shows that the mower is supposed to be in the second hole on the stand itself so and i of course am not in that second hole because there's the second hole so i now know that some of my difficulty in hooking this mower up is because i didn't pay attention to what's plainly put on the side of the mower there i'd already watched that video one time i didn't obviously pay attention good enough that time so you know only goes back to my own operator error, I guess you can say. So, what I'm gonna do, I brought my jack out here. I'm gonna take the jack, jack it up, get the weight off the, jet, the stand, 
and then move the um, stand itself, the mower stand, move it up to that second hole that it's supposed to be in and then let it down and it should be proper and we'll see if I have a hard time, harder time or an easier time trying to hook this mower up this time. So let me get y'all set up and I'll be right back. Alright, let's get this jacked up. Maybe it won't turn over. Nope, better catch it. At a different spot. Get it more, I guess. Centered. See if that'll work a little better. There we go. Now I've got it off the ground. So put that out of the way. Let's get this pin out. Let's see, I gotta move it up to the second hole. There. I'm thinking this does make it this more level. Obviously, it's off level with the other way using that quick itch. I'm thinking this is going to make it more level for me to be able to hook it up a little easier. So, I'll drop it back down. All right. going by what the picture says so we will see what happens so i'll put this jack up get y'all set up i'm gonna take an implement off the kubota and i'll be right back we'll hook it up now right, let's see what happens here folks
Well guys, I guess it ended up not being too bad. I cut y'all off and then I just moved the tractor, uh, the hitch on the tractor a little bit and it snapped right into place. So got everything hooked up, ready to go. So that proved to be, I guess you could say it proved to be a little easier than it was last time. So, um, but anyway, we're ready to go. So. I'll pick back up with y'all in the morning and we'll be cutting some hay. Some of the junk. 
junk I got in, in these hay fields are good for the most part. I just got a few weeds that I need to get rid of.
so evenly and, and slick like a car. Sometimes they can tell and it don't have a thing on them. I'll probably end up getting one and putting on it. Uh, forget what you call it, but it moves the hay over on the far side. And where when you come back, you sort of see it. It don't have that on there, but you can buy it. You'll most likely get it. Hard sometimes to see where you've been. Sometimes it'll move it out of the way good just on its own, but in other times it's you can't tell where you've actually cut. Like I said, this thing's so slick, runs right under that hay. It's hard sometimes to tell where you've even been, where you've cut, or anything of that nature. It's that hard to slide right under that hay, especially if it's thick like this is. I mean, it's, it's tough. You gotta really pay attention to where you just cut came from to be able to see the where you've been, what you've done. Here in a little.